Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I have a few new, um, a few new NASCAR diecasts for you guys. So, obviously, we got a hauler. We got a 164 diecast. We got an Authentics of Ty Dillon from last year since he drives uh, number 77 now. So, I'm going to just start with uh, number one of Ross Chastain here. So, yeah, um, I ordered this on NASCAR, the shop, directly. So, um... Yeah, it took uh, it took about three or four months to get it because it was not in stock. So yeah, um, I had to wait three months, just like my other Hooters car, um, my black version of the Hooters car. I had to wait three months. I had to wait actually two months for that since that was made more faster. And as you can see, I'll move it actually closer to the camera for you guys right there. The number one of Advent Health. He did run this during the. Daytona 500 and I think the Kansas Spring Race also so he runs this every once in a while and um, Advent Health is also since I'm from Colorado Advent Health um, is now buying hospitals in Colorado so they will be expanding a lot more and so I guess you could say their NASCAR sponsorship is doing really well so yeah um, they are sponsoring so yeah, um, a sponsor, Ross Chastain, and, um, I have another one of Ross Chastain's cars right here, the GoPro, I never seen him run this one, but, um, I don't know which one I like more, if I like the GoPro or the Advent Health, because you got some pretty cool color going on, that number one is, like, chrome a little bit, it's shiny, it's reflective, and then, then number one on the top of it, it's, it, it's just a green, like, lime number one, it says Advent Health on the hood, and then it has it on the trunk, and it says chest stain. So, yeah, all decked out with Advent Health. So, yeah, it is. I don't know which one I like more, though, the Advent Health of the GoPro. Um, in my opinion, um, I honestly, I just don't know. I, I I like both. I like GoPro cars. Like, both of these cars are very well made. Like, it's Advent Health, and then GoPro, really no other sponsors, like half and half or something. So, anyways, um, yeah, I don't know which one I would choose. I don't know which one I would choose to be my favorite right now. So, yeah. Um, <sighs> anyways, um, I am opening up the Ty Dillon car now. So, um, I want to do that really fast. Show you guys his car. Um, I'm on the lookout for his hauler that matches with this. And, um, so yeah, um, oh my god, oh, okay, so here is the 42, let me move those out of the way really fast, here's the 42 Ty Dillon, get that Hooters holler out of the way a little bit, refocus on that, thank you very much camera, anyways, okay, good job camera, anyways, Trying to get it to focus here, so you can see it better. Anyways, um, you can tell it it says forty two, and it says gain on it, which um I believe it's a um, what am I call it? It's a, I, I just had it in mind. It's a washer dry. It's um it's a soap for your washer dryer. So um yeah, it's a. So yeah, it's um a soap detergent. Yeah, there there it is. I found the word soap detergent. So yeah, um, it is. So yeah, I've I I haven't really seen him run that last year. So um, I and since he drives a number seventy seven now, he mostly drives for the. I don't get me wrong, but I think he drives for Spire Motorsports. But anyways, um. Since he drives for Spire Motorsports, he did run the 42. The only really um, paint job I did see him run is the Ferris mowers, I think. Um, but I, he might have ran this a few times. I think, actually, as I'm thinking about it, he might have ran that at Bristol or a few short tracks, actually. So, um, yeah. I think he did run this number 42 at a few short tracks. And, <laughs> and even uh, Bristol Dirt Race last year. And um, I'm trying to think. Um, 
I don't know if Ty Dillon was a full-time driver for the Spire team or right now Petty Motorsports with Jimmy Johnson. So I don't know about that. So um, Ty Dillon is like a free agent driver. Um, he does have a talent, but um, I think he would be better in the Xfinity series. I'm not going to lie. Be like an AJ Allman thing. I move down to there, compete in there, get a few wins, and then go back up to Cup Series and get good top five finishes and try and compete for wins. But anyways, really nice looking car. Got Food City on the back there. Um, yeah, 42 right there and then 42 on the top. And it says Gain on the windshield. Nothing on the trunk though. On the rear end it says Food City and then it says Camaro. Got the rear diffuser. So yeah, really, um, once again, pretty plain car. It has Food City as the sponsor also, but really you, you look through the aisle at the supermarket, which I found this one at, well, Target actually, Target, yes. I've been shopping all over the place, and um, I I also found this one at Target also. So um, yeah, I found this one at Target along with this right here. So um, yeah, I noticed that I'll have to shop at more Targets now and Walmarts at the same time. Because they both carry this and the haulers. So, yeah. Um, I'm running out of room for the haulers, but for car, cars, um, I'm pretty fine. So, anyways, yep. Here's the number 42. Last look at it. Get the last look of these cars right here, even though I didn't unbox that one. Um, just get that one out of the way. Just look at these two right there. Um, overall, my opinion, number one looks better than a number 42. Um, just more, more going on, like color stripes. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, got the chrome number, num number one on there. So, yeah. Anyways, that that is a number 42, Ty Dillon. This one is the number one, a brass chest stain. And then this is the GoPro, which I already unboxed a few weeks ago. And, um, actually, it wasn't actually a few... It, well, yeah, it was a few weeks ago. Unless you want to call June a few months ago. So, yeah. Anyways, um... Next up is the Chase Elliott Holler here. Oh my gosh, almost fell right out of the box. I just pulled it up so weird. There we go. Okay. Get this thing all hooked up. There we go. Move these cars out of the way for a second. And then move this baby in. Looks pretty clean. I like I like this one. Um I believe they make um whatchamacallit, they make the die cast for this. I'd have to just keep my eye out. He did run this paint, that paint job right there, I believe, at Bristol last year. Don't quote me on it, though. But, um, I think he did, so, um, yeah. I think he ran that paint job. Um, got the Hooters. It's actually on both sides of the tray. We're going to take this off really fast. It's the same paint job on both sides, which I like. So, yeah, um, that's what's neat about this. I can... Um, since I'm putting some of the stuff on the train table right above me here, um, it looks good on either way. So, yeah, that's why I sort of got it. Um, sometimes I don't buy the trailers because they just don't look, um, cool. I, I don't like the logo they put on it, the sticker on it, or the way they paint it, just because, um, it, it's like an aerial view from the top of the car. So, I like the side of the car like that. So, yeah, um pretty nice i'll have to get the die cast for it uh, and um yeah just get the die cast for it i'll keep on shopping i'll go out to target or walmart like one or two times like what was i just gonna say one or two times a week um mostly gonna be like transitioning like go to target one week and then next week go to walmart so every other week basically but um i found this one at target um, there was a Dale Jr. Hellman's um, 88 car, and I was like, eh, no, I like this one better, even though Dale Earnhardt is better than Chase Elliott, not gonna lie. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I think this one would look more cool on the train table, in my opinion. And so, yeah, um, just get a final view here of all the cars I got that I did in this video. So, once again, um, on that note, I will be shopping more and since i know target has die casts and haulers now i will there will probably be a video every two weeks probably so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be another video next week or two weeks from now 
since um, I will be shopping more and more at Targets and Walmarts. And I'm going on vacation, so I will be shopping at Targets and Walmarts there to see what they have. Also, because it seems like the ones in Colorado, they just get one certain wave of die-cast cars at Walmarts and Target, which is that. And then if you want the better kind, which I don't really see the difference between Authentics and um, um, the ones that you buy online, really. Like the 164, which is that one, which is not in Authentic. Uh, not in authentic. <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying that word today. So, yeah. Um, that costs about eight to nine, maybe ten dollars, and then this costs um four, four eighty four, something like that, four nine four ninety two. It was some, it was either one of those two. Um, so yeah, that's how much I bought that, and then the hauler is fifteen ninety nine plus tax. It's a little bit expensive, but um, I'll buy it because it looks good. If it doesn't really look good, I won't buy stuff. If I don't like it, if it looks good, I'll buy it. So yeah, anyways, like I said, I will be back in in one or two weeks with uh, new haulers and hopefully more um, authentics and or um, regular, regular um, YNL 164 die cast. So yeah, um, to be honest, this version right here, I feel like when you put it side by side like that, um, the authentics is like barely bigger to the size of that one so yeah it's more spread out i think it's a little bit more tinier than this one but um yeah if you compare it it has its pros and cons so anyways i hope you guys have a great rest of your day night so uh once again one or two weeks stay tuned and i will see you guys later